Hey guys, welcome to another weekly vlog. I have just got home from work on a absolutely Baltic freezing day. Can't even feel my fingers. I washed my hands in the sink and I left them under the sink for like a minute longer just to try and warm them up. But Becca has made an awesome dinner tonight from Gusto, so I'm gonna dig in. Tonight for dinner we have cheesy chicken with some French onion gravy. We have mash and some as a kale becca. Is that kale? I don't know what it is, but it's got spinach in, but I don't know the other stuff. <laughs> I think it's just on, on the recipe it's just classed as green. So I really enjoyed that dinner. Normally I'm not like a fan of like dishes with like gravy and stuff like that. Um, but I thought I'd give it a try, it sounded good and it tasted really good as well. Um, definitely have that one again, even just the chicken and the sauce and like a sandwich, like a, a French onion dip sandwich or something like that. Um, but I'm just upstairs on uh, the computer editing the vlog. Got most of it done, which is not bad for a Monday, it normally takes us a couple of days. Um, but I did start a little bit of it yesterday, so I cheated a little bit. Um, so I've got most of it done. The vlog is all laid out and stuff like that. And then uh, I'm gonna go grab a shower now. And tomorrow I can do uh, all the audio mastering and stuff like that. And then everything will be done. So I've just had a shower. I've warmed up a little bit, but not as much as I would like to. So I've got the heating on blasting. I'm just about to sit down. We're gonna finish Crimes, uh, Crimes of Grindelwald? Yes, Crimes of Grindelwald. Um, because we didn't finish it last night. I think there's just over an hour left. Also, my friends in the process of starting his own beard oil company. Um, so I'm getting to be like his guinea pig at the minute. Um, so he's given us like all the different ones that he's making. He's made two so far. Yeah, I've got a vanilla one, and I think this one's like a sandalwood type one. And um, the smell off this one's really awesome, so I'm trying them out at the minute. And um, so if you see me be a little bit shiny, that's why. So I'm gonna grab a drink, sit down, and finish uh, Fantastic Beasts. And we decided to burn a little bit of a different candle today. We got this one from I think Home Sense last year. Um, well, I haven't burned it that much as you can tell, but it's a cool little candle, it's got like a vintage label and then it's got like a, is that a scarab beetle on the lid? Just finished watching Fantastic Beasts, Crimes of Grindelwald, forgot how much I enjoyed that movie, bit sad to see Johnny Depp not being them in the next one, um, but Mads Malkin I think will do a brilliant job, really liked him in Star Wars Rogue One, um, but we're going to go to bed now, it's like a quarter out of ten, I am shattered. Hey guys, what is up, happy Tuesday. I am shattered today. I've been flat out all day. I got home about 45 minutes late from work. Um, I am tired. We've already ate dinner because Becca already had it on the table so we had to heat it up because obviously I was late. So I didn't show it but we had like a spicy and Judah um, ravioli. I know I'm saying that wrong. I, I, don't, I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, but probably won't be much for me tonight. So I'm going to sit down. Becca has us these little desserts to have. So we're having a little Muller Light orange chocolate fix, which looked really cool. Um, so I know I'm probably going to only be awake for like an hour. So we're going to sit down. We've noticed there's a couple of vlogs up tonight. Um, Tim Tracker has uploaded Islands of Adventure vlog, so we we'll definitely want to check that out. So I'm going to sit down. So for dinner tonight, guys, we have um, our vegetarian or vegan meal. So we have the meat-free biryani. Hey, guys, what is up? Uh, it's Wednesday. Got home from work, we've already had dinner, so the next clip I'll show you what we had. It was quite nice, it was our vegetarian option, but I've just had a shower there. I am shattered again this week, is, is literally taking it out of me. Um, but I've got one more day, and then I am off for the bank holiday, which I'm happy about, because we have a few things that we're going to do around the house. And uh, we're also going to the pictures on Friday to see Secrets of Dumbledore, so I'm very excited for that, because we have watched the other one. Last night we started watching YouTube, but I think YouTube was down because every like couple of minutes it kept saying we lost it in that connection, but we didn't because everything else in the house was working. Um, and it happened on the Apple TV and on the TV upstairs. And my friend Aaron said that um, it was happening to his. So it must have been an issue with YouTube. Um, so we wanted to watch a few vlogs last night, but we just ended up like watching Netflix and stuff. So there's the Tim Tracker. Um, can't remember who else. It's probably a page of Mr. Morrow and a Super Enthused. Um, because we last night we were like really in a mood just to watch like Florida vlogs. Um, so tonight's the night. So we did watch the Tim Tracker and then we watched something else. And then we watched. I was just flicking through like the recommended section on YouTube and I saw like Peaky Blinders funniest moments. And as you know, we both love it. So we just watched it. It was quite good. But now, guys, off to bed. 
Hey guys, a little bit of a late one for us. It is Thursday night, by the way. I finished work late again, shock. Um, but my grandma is out of the hospital, um, so we went up to see her. My mum is currently st like staying there to make sure she's all right while she recovers. So my dad's very happy because he like he's got the house to himself. So he, he he's going deaf, so he has like the TV blasting. I say he's going deaf; he's just getting worse hearing. Um, so he'll have had the TV blasting. The cattle have been running right around the house without my mum there. So we popped up there. My grandma's doing awesome. Um, she looks well, doesn't she, Becca? For having yeah. like major surgery, she does look really well. Um, she's got a big like bandage around her neck because she had to have what was it, an artery cut in her neck yeah um but she's doing well but we've just got home i'm gonna sit down it's like 8 30 now so we're not mega late in um i'm just gonna watch some tv good morning guys happy good friday the day where you don't eat is there any meat at all becca just yeah. certain meat any meat hey. at all um so we are up um about to make some coffee and some breakfast because it is a lovely day, as you can probably tell how bright it is, I think I'm going to make an iced coffee, I think. Um, so I'm going to do that. We're going to have scrambled egg on toast. I've just been weighed and I'm another £4 down, so that is awesome. Keep going, even though we have had treats and stuff, so I probably could have lost more weight and probably could have done more exercise. But happy with the progress, slow but steady. Um, today we are going to the cinema to see The Secrets of Dumbledore, Fantastic Beasts, so I'm very excited for that. But first guys, coffee. So while coffee is brewing, I'm gonna put a vinyl on because I've never put one on all week. But the question is, what do I put on? So I've decided to go with Stranger Things. And for me cold brew, I decided to try something different. I've decided to brew just like a strong shot of coffee. I've got me ice in obviously my favorite Cabana Bay cup. I'm gonna pour it over, um, cause that's what they do when you go to like coffee places. So I'm gonna see if it works at home. So yes, the coffee worked. So I've got Mickey's French vanilla, the little bit of sweetener in, and some milk. And there we go, guys. Nice little scrambled egg on toast. Breakfast was nice. We've just had a little bit of a hoover up, tidy up. One of the best scores known to man in the background, Back to the Future. I'm gonna turn that off. We'll just chill out for a little bit this morning. And it's about 1 p.m. I think the film starts, isn't it? Yeah. So we'll probably leave around like, Mid, just after midday because we need to go to the shop to get some sweets. So after breakfast we just watched a little bit YouTube but now we're gonna go get ready. It's like 11 a.m. so we need to leave roughly about 12ish because we need to go to the shop um, and we both really want a Starbucks today because there's a new Starbucks out like an Easter one um, so we really want to try that and I also need a shave. So I am ready. I've had a shave. The beard's looking nicer. Got a little bit of hairspray on there and uh, a little bit of beard oil. I'm still using the one that my friend gives us because as I say, he's starting his own beard oil company. Um, so I'm being his guinea pig, testing it, but he is doing some pretty cool stuff. Um, so Becca's still getting ready. I'm gonna play five minutes of um, Harry Potter Lego because um, I did start it the last Saturday when I got the game. Oh, by the way, I did get the refund from Sony as well, thank God. Um, so they refunded the £50 for the Lego Star Wars game. I will eventually probably get that game, um, but one, I didn't have the money for it at the time, and two, I wanted to make sure I enjoyed the Lego games by playing the Harry Potter ones, just to make sure, because it was on sale for £15. So um, so I got the refund back, which was good, because um, that was money towards like our Florida savings. Um, so I'm going to play a little bit Harry Potter Lego now while Becca's getting ready, and then we'll head off to the cinema. So we've made it to the cinema. We are a little bit early. It doesn't start until, um, when is it, 20 past? 20 past 1, I think, say it's like 5 to 1. We're just sitting outside the cinema for a little bit, but uh, I did post on Twitter the other day, like deciding between Cineworld and Odeon, and we decided to see it at Odeon because they offer the IMAX. <laughs> back from the cinema and um, a couple hours has passed because when I got home I jumped straight on to do the podcast because all the guys were available Ash was a real trooper and he um, 
he took his lunch break and uh, we recorded that episode on his lunch break because he's at work um, so we got that done I'm going to edit it tomorrow morning because it's like 7pm now just had a shower as you can tell by the fuzzy hair and uh, it's good Friday so you can't eat meat today and uh, <clears throat> excuse me it's tradition that you have fish and chips um, so we were passing a chip shop on the way back from the cinema so we got some chips but we already had some battered fish in I'm not overly keen on um, fish from the chip shop um, I don't know why I'm weird um, so I love the bird's eye one so we got some of them we were just going to make chips because we were passing um, one of my favourite chip shops while we were at the cinema I says oh we'll just stop and get some um, so we've got them and um, we're just going to heat them up and Becca has had the um, fish in the oven and she's also making some mushy peas and some curry sauce to go with it so we're going to have that and then we're going to sit down chill out Ooh, went very blue there and watch some TV and also I forgot to say about Dumbledore as well um, really enjoyed the movie not going to give any spoilers because it's only been out a week here and I believe it just come out in America today um, but it was definitely a darker vibe um, of the movies um, I thought that was going to be the last one but speaking to Tim he said they were planned for five movies um, but Warner Brothers want to see how this movie does before they actually film the next two um, but I did enjoy it there was a few things that I wasn't like happy about um, but who am I to complain it was a really enjoyable movie movie that tied in very well to the Harry Potter um, Wizarding World and stuff like that. There was loads of nods to the original films which I really like. So you just had our fish and chips. I didn't show it because it's just fish and chips. Um, but I am going to, you know I love my weird beers. Um, I can't remember if I showed this in the vlog already so apologies if I have. However, I have a Jam Roly Poly and Bessie's beer. How awesome is that? So it is from Northern Monk and it is a collab with Aunt Bessie's um, and it's got notes of plum, apricot, strawberry and custard. When I saw it first and I, I saw Aunt Bessie's I thought it was Yorkshire puddings but then I thought they're not going to be as crazy to make a Yorkshire pudding beer. Um, so it's a jam roly poly, jam and custard pale ale. Let's give it a try. Right, so I've got it open. It actually smells like jam. Let's have a taste. No way. Wow. They've actually hit. They've hit the taste on the head with this one. They did it in four cans or they did it in one. And now I wish I got the four because it is really, really good. Definitely try this one. I got this from. Was it Tesco, Becca? Uh, I think one Tesco, wouldn't we? I'm sure it was Tesco. Mor Morrison's. Um, so definitely if you're passing the Morrisons give it a try. So we watched a lot of YouTube tonight, we watched a little bit Joan Donner, we watched Disco Liz, I think we squeezed Tim Tracker and the Despicable 3 in as well and uh, we were just like flicking through YouTube and stuff. But Becca fell asleep on the couch and I just wanted to watch a classic movie that I hadn't seen in ages um, and I settled on Police Academy so I've watched like half of that. I'm going to go to bed now, I'm going to watch TV in bed, so I'm going to probably finish Police Academy because it's been years since I watched it. Um, brings like great memories back of me. My dad introduced me to Police Academy when I was young and we would watch them all together all the time, just have a laugh. So it's been a while since I've watched it, so I just, uh, just chilled out watching that. But I'm uh, going to go to bed now. We've burnt the... Uh, we decided to put a new candle, well not new candle, we've burned it before, um, but we wanted to put the Wicked Growth candle on. It's been a while since we've... Uh, burnt that and it is also a crackle wick as well so we decided to put that on so thanks to all the guys like Tim, Brady, Ash, everybody else who sent that box over last year because um, obviously we haven't seen the Wicked Growth house and um, but the candle smells so good. Good morning guys happy Saturday I am up just back as making some breakfast I'm running really low on coffee but my uh, Joffy's order for some reason is still delayed and um, normally it takes around 10 days to come been almost two weeks now and um, I ordered it back in March and uh, when Beck has been checking the shipping updates to say that the, um, there's a massive delay with FedEx um, I know it's not getting across to the UK because I've got a waxwork records um, thing ordered like a, a package coming and that's already in the UK so I know it's like not an issue getting over I must just be a delay with like waxwork um, 
Joffrey's or FedEx. Well, that can't be with Joffrey's because we've got the FedEx shipping um, and it says that it's delayed, so God knows when that's gonna turn up. But while breakfast's cooking, I'm gonna put a vinyl on. And it's been a while since I've listened to Edward Scissorhands, one of the best scores ever, so I thought I'll put that on. And I must admit as well, the artwork is really sick. Waxwork do some of the best movie score vinyls ever. Just as I press play on the vinyl, we've had two like deliveries. We've had like the Morrison's shopping's just come. Went at Morrison's this week and another maple and whiskey candle. And um, so once we've got the shopping away and stuff like that, I'll show you the candle. So I've just had some breakfast and uh, watched some TV. I didn't have any coffee because I really am running on like the bare bones. So I'm gonna try and keep it for when I go to work. But I'm just up in the office, as you can probably tell. Um, just I forgot, completely forgot I've had the podcast to edit. So I'm going to quickly get that done and then I'm going to vacuum because um, Becca tidied up yesterday. I just need to vacuum the house. And then we are going to go to either B&Q or Wix and get the um, cement so I can repair the fence and then hopefully you can get the grass cut. So the podcast is edited, just shutting the computer down. We're now, I've got me like old clothes on. We're now going to go to that being I think I'm gonna to go to Wix because being cute didn't have great tile and stuff in last time and I want to pick up the adhesive for the tiles just so it's all ready um, but if Wix haven't got like the, the decent stuff I'll head down to B&Q and then we're gonna get back I'm gonna dig those two fence posts out and hopefully get them set and then cut the grass we've made it to Wix we're just having a look at the tile stuff now we're just not sure which one to get but we do need like tile spacers we need some adhesive we need some grout we do have grout in the shed but i think it might have went off so i do need to check that so i'm just having a look because i need like an ultra flexible one for the bathroom floor and all like the little bits and then we need to get the concrete for the fence we are back from um wicks we didn't get everything we needed um the tile spacers and stuff like that in wicks were like quite expensive and i remember when i bought them last time i got them from um, tool fix or screw fix one of the two um, and they were much cheaper so I'm just going to go there and get them also with it being a floor I'm going to get the um, the the self leveling ones that you put over to keep the floor all level and stuff like that so they are a little bit more pricey they were like £25 in Wix um, and I know that tool station and that do them cheaper so I'm going to get them from there but before I unload all of the cement out of the car but that's just making us some lunch and I completely forgot earlier on but I'll show you the candle we got from Maple and Whiskey this month we decided to go for over Fiji and the smell of this is just so fresh and the colours also blend in very well with our house and again guys I am I'm a brand rep for Maple and Whiskey, so if you want to bag 10% off your order for any product on the website, use code FloridaGuy10 and you'll get 10% off your order. And also tag us on Twitter and let us know what you pick. So you've just stopped for some lunch. We have a jack of potato with some cheese on. I've put a little bit of buffalo sauce to spice it up. I wanted to show Becca got some new garden gloves when she does the weeding and a trowel and she had to get some fancy lemon ones. So we've just finished lunch. The longer that I sit in a uh, put off moving, the worse it's just going to be. So I'm going to get my trainers on, going to get all the cement out of the car, seven bags of it. I'm going to dig the posts out, um, do them. Then I'm going to head over to the front garden and cut the front grass while the posts dry and then come back then I can do the back. So as you can see, I still have like the ratchet strap holding everything up. Um, just drop the exposure for you there. So. Once I get the post set, I'll be able to take it off. So I've just stopped for a quick drink. I am shattered. Um, Becca's busy now weeding the front garden. I've cut all the grass, trimmed it and done the weeding. Uh, sorry, like the weeding on the patio. Um, Becca's just now pulling all the weeds out and turning over the soil and stuff. Got one of the fence posts done um, because I've only got one ratchet strap. Um, I'm just leaving that set now. Um, and then tomorrow I'll do the other post. I'm gonna cut the back garden now. Obviously I can't do all of the grass because of the, uh, I've had to dig the soil up. At the minute the back garden is a bit of a mess. Um, it's been put on like the back burner um, where we get for the wedding and stuff paid for. But we've just decided to go down like a budget route. So we're just gonna put like a nice border around the fence all the way along and just put it bark on it and then get some nice figurines and stuff and some plants for the garden. Um, just to obviously, cause I've had to dig it up. So it looks a mess at the minute. Um, but at least we have like the patio and stuff to sit on and the hot tub area which is nice um, so probably by next year it should be done but obviously the wedding comes first so I'll put some shoes on and I'll show you like what I've done so far so this is the post that I do have set um, don't know how well you can see but 
it's drying pretty nice and then I can uh, get this soil put back in and this one I did pour a little bit of cement but I do need to pull this panel a little bit this way um, so I can set some more cement but from now we're just going to be doing like a border right the way around here about the width of that mud there actually just a border right the way around we're just going to bark it um, just to make it a bit neater but for now I'm going to get all this grass cut because it looks disgusting oh so a little bit of time has passed I had all intentions of like setting up some cool time lapses some b-roll around the garden and stuff like that but once we were into it I just wanted to get it done because it was started well it has took the whole day and um, so it took us ages to do the fence posts because I had to dig them all out um, and then we did the front garden I cut and strimmed the grass and edged it and Becca did all the weeding um, so now the front looks perfect the back is a work in progress like I mentioned before um, but I've backfilled the soil because the concrete went off on one post and uh, I'm just leaving it strapped up for tonight just so that I can set um, fully then I'll take the strap off tomorrow move it to the next post and then we can um, get that one set and uh, I got the back grass cut We've got the patio all swept and stuff like that so I'll give you a quick look at that in a minute Oh, I am hurting. But uh, Becca's making some dinner. We're going to chill out. We're going to light the new maple and whiskey candle and see what that uh, smells like. In fact, I think I'll light that now just to uh, get it going. I'm also hungry as well. So as you can see, I have the uh, the back. Well, I've got this one backfilled. This one is still to go because that's the one I'm going to do tomorrow. But like I say, I have that one strapped up and I managed to get all of the grass cut I just need to cut around like the edges of the fence post which I'm going to do tomorrow because I was shattered and then I've just piled up the other post creek there and then we give the patio a little bit of a sweep and uh, the grass that I took out I've also patched in here you can see I'm just waiting for it to um, heal together and I'm going to put some more grass seed down because remember we were going to take the patio to this line here but we've decided it's big enough if we get the hot tub off the patio so I need to go buy another one of those borders just to go there and uh, another bag of gravel to fill that and I've got the, the grass patched in so looks a little bit rough now but I'm hoping in the next month or so we'll have it all done so we've never watched it since it came out at the cinema originally um, and we're both too tired to watch something new and concentrate so we decided to put uh, Jungle Cruise on because obviously it's on, on Disney Plus now and we have the maple and whiskey candle burning and I have a nice old fashioned so today as proper took it out with me uh -huh. we started watching Jungle Cruise and before I know it Peter's wake me up I fell asleep on the couch um, so I'm awake we're going to go watch the rest of, well probably not the rest of the movie but we're going to go watch more of it in bed and uh, it's been a very busy day to say the least not like busy doing a lot of things just like a lot of like heavy lifting and digging the garden and stuff like that so very tired so I'll catch you in the morning good morning guys happy Easter Sunday just woke up it's like 9 a.m. ish well I haven't just woke up uh, but I'm gonna make some coffee it's actually another nice day today so we might be able to get like lunch in the garden or something and uh, we have Easter crumpets for breakfast there we go guys there is our breakfast we have some novelty easter bunny crumpets and the coffee has just brewed and today i've just went for not that one but some leftover joffrey's and i went for the pumpkin spice so we've just had breakfast we sat in the garden for probably about an hour and it was really nice just to sit in the sun because it's really sunny today so we're going to watch a little bit of tv and um, just have a lazy morning and we'll get dressed i'm going to do the fence post and we're going to have lunch in the garden as well and we're also going to there's a couple of movies we want to try and watch we want to try and finish Jungle Cruise as well because you know we didn't finish that last night and it's Easter and we always feel like it's tradition to watch a Harry Potter movie on Easter so we have had our lazy morning just got changed um, Becca's going to make some lunch now we had a gusto meal left over and uh, I'm going to go in the garden and um, start doing the fence but I really want to uh, get the grips with this gimbal because I've really never used it and uh, I want to master it before we go to Florida because that's what I got it for for around the parks and horror nights and stuff so one of the features that it's supposedly meant to do is a motion time lapse so I'm going to try it I'm not too sure how good it's going to turn out so it might not even make this vlog probably won't but I just want to set it on the table while I'm outside um because there is a few clouds in the sky so I want to track the movement and stuff like that so I'm going to give it a go um so for the fence I just need to tie that one with that post up get it strapped up so it's in place with the spirit level which I just remembered I need to get from upstairs and uh, I've already dug sort of down 
I just need to pour the concrete and fingers crossed that's it done. So I made a massive mistake earlier. I didn't check the battery when I started doing the time lapse outside, so that's totally my fault. Um, I went about doing the garden, putting the washing out and digging the fence post, and I thought, oh, I'll have this awesome, awesome time lapse to put in the vlog because I said I was going to do it yesterday and uh, I didn't check and when I finished the battery was dead but I have finished the post which I'll show you in a little bit um, I am going to set the time lapse up again because I really want to see how this works and I want to make the most of learning how to use the gimbal now so when it comes to taking it to Florida um, I know all of the features and how to set it up and a few practice runs because before it took us about five minutes to set it up um, so when I get that done now I'll put the gimbal out and see if I can get another time lapse So I'm vlogging on my phone for the minute because I've got the gimbal doing the time lapse. Um, but since it's Easter, we thought that we would do some. Um, that's just back up here with the blinds. I'm not <laughs> well, sort sorting the blinds <laughs> out. Um, but we thought we would have these. My grandma got us some last year, and we've just never got around to having them. Um, so I'm assuming Becca's is that one because it's in front of the mini cup, and um, I'll be having this um, one here, which is it a chicken. I think it's a chicken, but it's got marshmallows in, so it should be good. So I just need to heat a jug of milk up. Just got the uh, things on. By the way, I'm vlogging on Becca's phone now because my phone's busy doing the control and the gimbal, and then the camera's doing the time lapse. So we're just pouring Becca's over there, and then we just need to stir it in, and then it's going to do the same with mine. Maybe we'll get a little bit more on each, actually. Yeah. I might have misjudged. Ooh. The chicken is floating. It's starting to go brown, isn't it? Mine, the marshmallows are coming up. Are they? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. No. Mine's, mine's farting. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's going to sink. Like mine has. Oh, uh, yeah. I think we need to get a spoon in now, don't we, and stir them. Oh, he's going to burst open. Yeah, I think the rest would be yours, wouldn't it? Yeah. So I'm just upstairs in the office now. Um, I couldn't wait to have a look at the uh, the motion time lapse that I just did with the gimbal. It didn't work out that good, as you'll have already seen. Um, it's because I put it on the um, garden table, and because our patio is like slightly off, the table wobbles a little bit in the rain, uh, in the rain, in the wind. Um, so next time I need to put it on like a steadier surface to like test it out. Um, but I. That was just the first attempt. I do obviously want to get better at using it. And um, there's no point having all these tools at my disposal if I don't know how to use them. Um, so I'm going to watch a few more tutorials because I did just watch one, but he was very vague about like how to set it up and stuff. But now I'm just in the office. I thought since I was um, checking out the time lapse, I may as well start editing the vlog. So I'm up in my favorite place with my cool posters and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm about halfway through, just sending some uh, clips that I shot on my iPhone off the other day. Um, absolutely love AirDrop because it just uh, makes stuff so much easier, especially now that I shoot some stuff out on my iPhone to save us taking this like big camera out and stuff. So I'm gonna get that done. I'm gonna have a bath. If we've got time, we're gonna try and squeeze Harry Potter in tonight and uh, I'm making tacos. So it turns out I got most of the vlog edited um, right up until that last clip, which takes a little bit of pressure off us tomorrow. So we can just chill out. Tomorrow we're gonna have a Florida planning day. We're gonna watch Harry Potter tomorrow because it turns out it's a little bit late now. Um, so we're gonna finish Jingle Cruise tonight, but now I'm gonna make some dinner and uh, it's a little bit different from the traditional Easter dinner because I'm making tacos. And there we go, guys. I have just rustled up some tacos. We have prawn and steak. Got some crisps to go with it, some Doritos. We have our mini taco wraps. And we also have a bunch of seasoning. Rebecca's just ordered this to try, this chipotle mayo. Um, we had the uh, creamy avocado before, and we've just got like salsa, cheese, lemon, and all that sort of good stuff. So I know I'm in pitch black, but what? <laughs> I'm just about to go sit down and watch TV, but those tacos were good, if I do say so myself. Did you enjoy them, Becca? Yeah, they were lovely, thank you. They're, uh, I don't cook many meals, um, but that is one of my specialities, the tacos. Um, we're gonna sit down, we're in a very like blue room. We do have the candle burning, the crackle wick one, absolutely love the sound of. And uh, I think tonight we're gonna watch a movie. 
Well, that is going to bring this week's weekly vlog to an end. We just had a, a night watching TV and then starting to fall asleep. But it's bank holiday tomorrow, so we are both off work. Um, so we're going to do some Florida planning. And uh, we're going to watch Harry Potter because we didn't get to watch it tonight. And just have like a Disney Universal Florida vlog day if we can. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this week. I think it was a pretty productive week. Um, got to see Dumbledore, got to fix the fence, got to do the garden and all that sort of stuff. So thanks for watching, guys. Please leave a thumbs up and definitely leave a comment down below. And I'll catch you next week. And remember, stay tuned.